What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, let's continue our discussion about Revit 2022 for architecture. So in this video, after we learn how to create our interior walls, how to create an opening to our walls. Okay, so this time around, we are going to add doors and windows to our building. Okay, so let's get this started so it's very simple so you just need to go to the architecture tab let's say for example i'm gonna put some windows in this wall here for the rest of the exercise so you can uh, do your practice you can put some doors and windows to the building okay so but for this one i'll just put some windows in this area here so from the architecture tab Let's go to the uh, window tool. The shortcut is WN. You click that one. And then after that, so from the type selector, you can click that drop down arrow if you have other windows that is loaded. Okay. So if you want to load another type of window, so all you have to do is to uh, select here load family. And then after that, you can go to the families folder where you have saved your windows or doors or any other families. And then after that, you just need to select open, okay, to load that particular family. But for this exercise, I will just use the default uh, window loaded in this project. I'm going to use the fixed uh, type window, 36 inches by 48 inches. And then after that, I'm now going to place it here on my... Uh, wall here okay the exterior side of your window can be placed let's say for example to this side you just need to move your pointer to that side if I'm gonna move my pointer below you can see that the window exterior side will be placed here below okay and then you can also turn on tag on placement if you want to place the tag automatically on your window so let's say i'm gonna turn this on you click that to toggle it on and then i'm gonna place it to here one two okay so that's now our uh, two windows let me just cancel this tool and then i'm going to click this window hold control to click the other window and then after that i'm going to select selection box to create a selection on that model so now what i'm gonna do is i'm going to turn on the valve reveal hidden elements from the view control bar and then you click that section box there you can unhide that and then close the reveal hidden element mode so for this one uh, let me just go to the floor plan and then click tile views so we can see also the 3D view, okay? So with the section box selected, if you uh, click here on the floor plan, you can see that the section box there are selected as well. So you can adjust the section box like that. Of course, you can also adjust it here in the 3D view. So in case you want to see the 3D of your uh, model, okay? So let's say, for example, I'm gonna put another windows here, series of windows. So I'm going to select the window. So this time I'm going to turn off the tag on placement and let's do this. So I'm going to place four windows here. One, two, three, four. So the placement of the windows is not critical for this first part of the exercise because we are going to move it later on. So I'm going to select here modify. So as you can see, there's no tag here compared to the first two windows because we turned off the uh, placement of tag okay so now for this one so let's uh, modify the distance from these two walls here so let's change the distance of this uh, uh, windows so to do that from your options bar i mean from your quick access toolbar i'm going to select line dimension or you can also go to the annotate tab and then you can select your aligned so it's the same as this one right so you click that and then i want that to be at the snap at the center line of this wall 
click the center line of the window, click the center line of the window, and then click the center line of this wall here. And then after that, go up and then pick outside, right? And then right after you pick outside, you can see there the EQ uh, symbol. Currently, it's turned off or it's slash, so meaning it's not activated. So I'm going to activate that by clicking EQ. Okay, if ever you already select modify, it will deselect now the dimension. So all you have to do is to select again the dimension so that you'll be able to see again the EQ. So just click the EQ for equality and there you go. So it's now equally distributed between these uh, two walls here. So that is what we are going to do as well to these four windows. So same procedure. So let's click align dimension. Click the center line of that wall, center line up the windows, and then the wall, and then just click outside. There you go. And then click EQ. And there you have it. So they are now constrained equally between these walls here. So I'll select your modify so that if ever you are going to move this wall. So let's say if I click this. And then I will uh, use the arrow on my keyboard left side as I move that. So you can see that they are still equally uh, spaced between the other wall, right? Okay, so even if you drag that, so they are still equally uh, distance placed between the other walls there. So that's uh, the reason why we use the eq there okay now okay so the next thing that i'm gonna do is i'm going to delete this uh dimension so i'm gonna click the dimension and then select delete here or you can type de or you can just press delete on your keyboard and then you will see this um warning so a dimension that has eq constraint is being deleted but the elements will still be constrained. So push unconstrained to remove the constraints or OK to leave elements constrained. Okay, so it's easy to understand. So if we are going to unconstrain that, the dimension will be deleted. And then these uh, windows here will still remain on the position, but the constraint will going to be removed. Okay, so check this out. So if I'm going to unconstrain that, as you can see, the windows are still there, but if I click this wall here, so they are not constrained anymore, right? Or even if I click this window, if I move that, so you will be move it separately from the other windows from the walls as well, okay? So they are not constrained anymore. Now, if you are going to select the other option, so let's click this dimension and then let's delete Let's say I select your OK. So again, they are still there. The position still remain, but they are they are still constrained. See, they are still equally constrained. Okay, so that's the difference. So let me just undo this. Okay. Now the next thing that we are going to do is we're going to add some uh, doors. Okay, so let's add some door. So from the architecture tab, let's click the door. The shortcut is DR. Click. So I'll be using this one. Uh, single flash, 36 inches by 84 inches. Okay, so let's put some doors. So our door, just like your window, it's a wall-hosted family. So you need to move your pointer to the wall. Otherwise, the door or the window will not appear on your screen. Okay, so see? And then you can also control it by moving your pointer up and down, left and right. So you can change the position of your door. And then if you're going to move your pointer to the wall, before you click, you can press space bar to flip your door. So as you can see, I'm pressing space bar. And then let's say, for example, this is the position I would like to place my door with. So I'm just going to click that. And there you go. Okay, so let's say I want to add another one here. There you go. 
So I want to place one here. I want to place space bar and then click. Okay. So I want to place another one here. Space bar. Click. Space bar. Click. You can still move that one. Change that later on. Space bar. Click. Then here. Space bar. Click. Okay. And that's it. So I'll select here. Modify. Okay. So if you want to change the distances of your uh, doors from the window, so again, you just click the door, and then you can see your temporary dimension there. So let's say you want this to be uh, one foot. So just type one, enter. Okay, so that's the distance. Obviously, that's wrong. So let me just make it two feet. Okay, there you go. So you can click that door and then you can always change that distance or you can just nudge it using the arrow on your keyboard. Okay. Now, if you want to change the type of the door that you have placed or the window that you have placed, just like what I have said earlier, you just need to load it. So let's say I'm going to select the door here or I'll just go to the insert because I would like to load another family. So go to insert load family and then on the families folder so let's say I want a double flash door so I'm going to load that so I select open okay so it's now loaded and then the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to select let's say this door here I would like this to be changed so click that and then go to the properties type selector and then there you go so you now have your double flash door loaded Okay, and then I'm going to select this one to change it. And there you go. So there's a warning. Of course, there's a warning there. So I'll just close this one. And then I can just click this door. And then I can use the arrow right side to adjust it. And then maybe what I can do is I just make it constrain again, equally constrained. So I select align dimension. Select the center line of the wall, click the center line of the door, and then you click the center line of the door. Then you click outside, and then just click EQ, just to tidy up the door. And then select modify. Again, I'll just delete this dimension. Okay. There you have it. So, I will select this area here. I would like this to be seen in the 3D view and then I'll just need to select selection box. There you go. So maybe I'm going to click the section box, drag it down, and there you have it. Okay. So there's now your uh, model. Right, so that's it for this simple exercise. So hopefully you learned something from this video. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.